Hello wonderful people, today we're gonna be talking about Amygdalan Arm, one of Bloodborne's DLC weapons and then after that we're gonna be talking about Dark Souls 3 and what to expect on this channel once it's released. I'm sure a lot of my Bloodborne viewers know that Amygdalan Arm is my favorite weapon and one of the reasons is because there's actually a lot of thought that went through this weapon, it actually makes sense in the world, like it even mechanically there's some thought that went through it they just didn't just throw it like an amygdalan arm like the weapon if you look into it it's actually been done thoughtfully and it actually in that world it might work so that's one of the things i like the second thing is doesn't feel overpowered nor underpowered like it feels that if you learn this the move set you get rewarded just by you know mastering the moveset not by the damage like most other weapons in bloodborne so that's why i loved it and of course it's just super cool man and the transform modes give you two different modes that you know work in different ways so the untransformed mode works perfectly against single targets and the transform mode works against multiple targets due to its arcing you know horizontal attacks so the Magdalen arm requires 17 in strength and 9 in skill. So there is no starter class and act that can actually use the weapon from the start. You have to upgrade strength somehow. So that's kind of unique for the weapon. And the other thing is, the, other, the most two important things that come to this weapon is, the first one is both modes have hyper armor. So you can attack and not be, you know, you don't get stunned. That's very good in both modes. But it feels much, much better in, in the untransformed mode. You know, the hammer thing, you know, that bashes people. By the way, this footage... I'm playing with Crazy, the YouTuber. I don't know if you know him. If you don't know him, you should go check him out. He's crazy. Starts with a K. I'll put his channel in the description. He's a, such a cool guy. We spent like we talked like for seven hours last time we and him played. He's like the king of all trolls, and you can see him there killing people. Unfortunately, we wanted to do Dark Souls 2, but I have Scholar on PlayStation 4. He has it on PC, so we weren't able to do that. And we wanted to do Bloodborne, but then we realized how time-consuming it is. So we just had some fun together and we never uploaded this so on to the second point the second point is the transform mode has one of the most unique attacks we've ever seen in the Soulsborne series and that is if you press R2 with the transform mode and you do not move after that you have to not move after you do the initial attack the weapon when it's coming back to you it hits twice more so people who think they can just quick step towards you and punish you they're in for a surprise because that thing does a tremendous amount of damage super fun super tactical yes it's kind of difficult to land however when you learn how to do it you can actually use it for bait and after they get there's so many ways you can use this so many ways but yeah the amygdalan arm is not easy to use in my opinion it's kind of difficult it's one of the most difficult weapons actually when i first used it like and by the way most of the footage here in the video is like very old so because I, I planned i plan to do this like way back and i was just too busy and i wasn't in the mood actually to talk about bloodborne i just got bored from it at some point and you know now it's in the end of its life cycle kind of sad but yeah the amygdalan arm my favorite weapon tell me what you think about it guys before you know because i'm going to start talking about dark souls 3 now so the rest of the footage is going to be me playing with it and i'm going to be talking about dark souls 3 i hope you enjoyed this brief weapon review my weapon review format will be very different in dark souls 3 i actually uh, planning how to do it's going to be more you know edited in a good way more presentable much easy to digest that's a plan but of course i'm never going to stop what i'm doing but yeah that's the end for the for a McDowell arm, let's start with Dark Souls 3. So, Dark Souls 3. Oh, Dark Souls 3. So, in case you don't know, the Japanese version is coming out on Wednesday, but the English version is coming in 12th of April. So, I never, you know, a lot of people ask me if I'm going to be buying the Japanese version, and the answer is no. I won't be buying the Japanese version. So, it was a dilemma, actually, for me making that choice, because I had to decide what's more important, YouTube or me enjoying the game. And I decided it's me enjoying the game. <laughs> like, don't, no offense, guys. But at the end of the day, what I'm doing is a hobby. It's not something, it's not, I don't do it for financial means or whatever you want to put it. But I really love this series. I really love Dark Souls and Bloodborne. They're my favorite games of all time. And if I buy the Japanese version just for the sake of YouTube, I think that's wrong. Because if I'm not enjoying the game, I don't think I can transition and make my videos enjoyable it has to be me enjoying the game to, to make it enjoyable for you and that's why i'm gonna i'm not gonna risk it. i'm not gonna be translating japanese and stuff like that just to you know be make early videos i'm not gonna do that because really guys in the end of the day i'm like all of you i just want to enjoy the game and i cannot wait trust me i cannot wait 
and my last video is proof of that because it's kind of crazy and weird and very risky and it had very bad feedback however I wanted to take you know sometimes it's nice to experiment with new things new ideas you know learn a bit about editing here and there it's kind of fun you know be kind of creative if you can fail and you can never succeed without failing by the way when I first started doing YouTube my videos were failures after failures and that's how you learn the, the road to success is a road to a failure <laughs> I know my English is bad it shouldn't be said that way but yeah you know what I mean and now a lot of uploaders uploaded a lot about Dark Souls 3 you can see like the first five hours just to be clear I never watch anything more than the last trailer of Dark Souls 3. I have no idea. I watch no Vatividia videos, no Sunlight Late videos, nothing. Because I also decided I want to stay in the dark. I'm just not going to risk everything just because, you know, I want to know early and stuff like that. As I told you, enjoying the game, guys, is everything. And I advise you, my viewers, not to watch anything about the game. Because this, the magic of the game is going in blind. Definitely, there's no argument there. Because you once you play it once, you cannot repeat that. You don't have another chance. I will pay money in gold. Yeah, just to play Bloodborne or Dark Souls 1 again. PvE or Dark Souls 2 PvP. Because the experience cannot be replicated. Especially the first playthrough, man. It cannot be replicated. And destroying it or, you know, knowing things beforehand is very, very bad for the experience in my opinion. Now, th different people have different ways. Some people actually enjoy watching the whole game and then playing it. They still enjoy. I know there's different, you know, tastes in the world. But that's my take on it. So I have no idea about anything other than the trailer I uploaded last time. And I said before also that I'm going to be playing it uh, in PC World, whatever, PC Weekender, which was back in 5th and 6th of March. And I did play it, and there's actually a video, unlisted video I uploaded. I'm going to be putting it in the description if you want to check it out. But it was a very early build. It was nothing impressive. That's why there was nothing to upload about. I apologize about that if you were, you know, looking forward to that. So when the game is first released, I'm going to, you know... I'm gonna upload first highlights of you know my first playthrough. I'm gonna be streaming it. That's a plan. I'll put, I'll add the, my Twitch link in the description. I'm gonna be streaming my first playthrough. If you're interested to watch that, and, and then of course I'm gonna be doing the weapon reviews, the funny videos, tactics, strategies. You know anything I I deem interesting or entertaining for you guys. There's so many plans, so many plans that I'm actually kind of overwhelmed because. Guys, you don't understand how much I love this series. And Dark Souls 3 seems to be the best, you know, sequel we're gonna get for Dark Souls 1. So it's gonna be, and it might be the finale, although I don't believe that. And I also believe that the next game, or the one after it, is gonna be at some point Bloodborne 2. I'm looking forward to that, guys. Don't forget, I love Dark Souls and I love Bloodborne. Bloodborne PvE is a very unique thing. I truly love it. I never played PvE more than a Bloodborne. Even, I think, more than Dark Souls 1 at some point. Yes, I think. But PvP, of course, I played Dark Souls 1 more because I like it more. But yeah, guys, these are all my points. Now, I'll, I'm... My, my, you know, when Dark Souls 3 comes out, my biggest plan is to be more involved with you guys, with my subscribers. That's why I'm going to be playing it both on PC and PlayStation 4. Of course, it's not, I'm not going to also buy it for the Xbox One. That's just, you know, too much playing it on three different, you know, platforms. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what's your plan in Dark Souls 3. Well, what, how are you going to be tackling it? How, how much do you, do you take your time with your first playthrough like me? I do take my time. I killed German like the fourth week. I kept him alive as long as possible. I didn't want to finish Bloodborne. I remember that. Like I started, I, I played PvP until like one month after release. Then I said, yeah, let me go fight him. Because I didn't want the game to end. So yeah, tell me how you're going to be tackling Dark Souls 3. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.